quarter here in Vancouver tonight. Travel by Doncic, and Doncic getting into it here. Look out now. Hey, this is preseason, guys. And already tempers flare. Terrence Mann and Doncic. Yeah, I like and that from still, Mann. And they're still... And Doc Rivers giving man a little low five right at there. each other. Well, man, just playing a physical. He's being aggressive, and Don's just a little frustrated. Had to push off last time. That time, getting called for the foul. Man, taking the ball away. Dantich taking exception to it, but man, not backing off at all. And that's why I said this is somebody that the Clippers are high on. Terrence Mann, just a, a rookie, but big upside. And then the big peacemakers, seven feet four inches, coming in Boban. <laughs> I would not go anywhere near that if Boban comes in. Well, you can pop him, but you can't even come close to him <laughs> back. Yeah, there's the peacemaker. He could give you a sucker punch, <laughs> and you have no chance of retaliation. So now our officials working this out, likely a wash. And Doc Rivers has got to like that kind of intensity from Terrence Mann. You know, another Florida State product, along like Kevin Galley, played for Leonard Hamilton. Leonard Hamilton at Florida State always seems to find guys with tremendous length. Look at Jonathan Isaac at the Orlando Magic, seven-footer that shoots the three and puts the ball on the floor. And here's the officials again reviewing this play. Doncic is a player who plays with a lot of emotion. So watch, you watch him, watch his facial expressions. He he runs hot. He plays hot. He's He's got a trigger to him. There is no doubt. He can get under his skin. Start this third quarter. And whoa, hey no. Morris and Anderson had been jawing before the quarter started, and now they are going at it. It looks more like Morris is going at it. Yeah. Justin Anderson had some words for Morris before the quarter began. And Morris went right at him. Now, did he hit him in the head? With I the think ball? he did. And that was maybe exactly what Chris Miller was. Oh. Okay, so he's looking at the elbow. And now watch him. <laughs> I don't know if I should have laughed at that. Oh, did that just happen? I mean, that's good. I, that's good. Wow. Touch. Towns may be a little bit fortunate he isn't yes. going to come for an offensive foul. That's exactly foul. right. And Rudy Gay is letting him know about it, too. Getting a little heated down there. Carl, Carl's not trying to get suspended, but he's not trying to hurt anybody either. He's not trying to just back down to people. Don't, he can't be tested like this and not say something. Rudy Gay, it's nothing personal. You're just too small to guard him. I mean, right now, Carl Anthony Towns is going to the middle of the floor. It's just a good physical move. What's Rudy Gay talking about? Missing. Battling. And a foul by Isaac. Jared Dudley steps in. Throws a forearm shiver. Things were... Not really out of control until Dudley stepped in. Yeah, MCW and West hey! Wing are kind of escalating hey! things there. Hey! Hey! White Howard mixing it up. <laughs> Isaac with a pretty hard foul on him. Let's go back and take a look. Which is elbow, gratuitous elbow from Howard. Michael Carter Williams, of course, is in there with a few nudges. And then West the one stepped dude. in with a push. Comes the elbow by Dwight right here on Mo. And then Carter Williams. The shove by Wondu. That might be a technical. And then Dudley certainly deserves a tech. Morris goes under the screen, and that leaves Barton wide open. And now shoving Jokic and Morris pushing and shoving. Jamal Murray getting involved. Didn't see what started it. After Barton hit the three going up the floor. Now Morris has to make sure he controls himself to stay in the game. He was furious. But what we've seen Morris very. Well, Randall. Morris very pugnacious guys. There's Morris. Got a 
I mean, that was the initial thing was much ado about that. Not, that's happens. We saw Mars do this with Embiid, pulled him down. That threw a punch right there. Well, I just like that they even trapped in that situation to force someone else to have to get the basketball. Harden and Crowder getting kind of physical, and Jason Goble, like I said, he's a veteran of the Miami Dade Police Force. You know, just trying to restore order. He doesn't back down to anyone. No. I'm trying to figure out, but I just want to know how does Jay Crowder get a foul on that in any way? He's gone. for the fake Valentinus back out. Dylan Brooks caps off his terrific night. 27 points for Brooks. Yep, season high has been 31 at 22 at the half. Did Brooks Let's turn it over? And then Peyton and Crowder. Uh oh. Have to be separated. Morris shoves somebody as well. Valentinus getting in the way. Peyton, I think, objected to the game being over. And Crowder going for the steal. And you see Taylor Jenkins telling these guys to go to the bench. Peyton has to be held back. And Nick Security doing a good job holding him back now. Mike Miller trying to calm down Peyton. And as the frustration is boiled over here for the Knicks, Damian Dotson is upset. It doesn't appear any player from either team left the bench, which is always a concern because that's an automatic suspension. But you mentioned Randall ran in and shoved people. He wasn't there. So some, there would be some fines handed out, folks. Yeah, if, especially if somebody comes in and accelerates the altercation, well, that usually means a suspension. Kudos to the security boy. Those were, guys were there in they, a flash. No question, they pounced. And I think what happened, we will have to see the replay again. Oh, uh, see that's that's a flagrant foul, and I think what. Peyton was upset with was that you know, the games it's an 18 point game there's 48 seconds to go and you're stealing a ball in the inbounds you know it's Taylor Jenkins trying to tell Randall to, to calm down the one thing you have to be careful of in all these as Randall was furious is you shouldn't if if you're a coach on another team when you start trying to push back players on the other team. All right, so here's here's the play that started it. Game is over and Crowder does that. So, you know, that's one of those unwritten rules that players get upset with. And that's what Peyton was upset with. As if to say But I don't agree with that, Mike. You're playing the game, man. Right. You got to finish. Meanwhile, there's two <laughs> there's two Grizzlies that left the bench. If you don't want this to happen, play ball. Right, <laughs> exactly. But I couldn't agree. I'm just saying that's that's what Peyton objected to. It's kind of an old-fashioned, unwritten rule. But you know what? Inbound the ball right way and catch it. And right. Play the game. Steal 48 seconds. Peyton showing his frustration as the Knicks are going to lose back-to-back -back nights. So the officials are looking at to see who's going to be ejected. My guess is Peyton will be ejected and there might be one or two others who kind of came in the middle or came after it had started. And that's a flagrant two. So he'll be he'll be ejected. We're the Pacers in the quarter 17 to 7 and they were up 13 at the half. 
Here comes Butler. Warren spinning him around, and Butler, not happy with that, had to be restrained by Leroy Richardson. Jimmy, do not take yourself out of that New York weekend. Oh, don't, don't read lips, Heat Nation. Do not read lips. Well, Butler definitely agitated by that spin around foul from TJ Warren, and the officials will take a look. Butler is still very upset. Need Jimmy to calm down here. He's just too important to the team to get tossed right now. They need him in this game. He's got to calm down. Got fired up because he really beat. And had Warren totally beat Warren grabbed him to spin him around. We're going to take several looks at this here. Watch Warren's hands grabbed him by the left arm and spun him around, held him. Now Leroy Richardson, who uh, is in his 25th season as an official, did a good job of diffusing what could have been an explosive situation. Leroy Richardson, 12 years in the United States Navy. Uh, an underwater sea surveillance specialist that time on dry land did a very good job of diffusing <laughs> what could have been a huge problem for both Butler and TJ Warren. Well said, partner. Well said. Look at Leroy. Look how quick he was in there. That's terrific officiate. It is. You know, get ahead of it before things magnify. And they're reviewing this right now, trying to figure out what, what they're going to do. But. You know, it's clear it's clearly going to be a foul initially on Warren and then from there we'll see you know, what the call on is both guys going chest to chest. Leroy probably asking the folks in Secaucus how good did I look breaking that up. I would think that you know typically what they'll try to do is even it out and from a technical standpoint uh, you know really to defuse guys from having the next one if they don't tee these guys up it could become a problem where it boils into a, a potential fight if they give them double text then they're worried about picking up the next tee and being thrown out of the game John your next job could be working for the league that's exactly what it is double technical fouls one for TJ Warren the other for Jimmy Butler and uh, out of that scrum give John Crotty and Leroy Richardson a plus thank you partner but look I enjoy hanging here with you too much <laughs> <laughs> John, we talk a lot about teams making the three. Miami can certainly do that, 11 of 23. How about defending the three? The Pacers have hit just four of their 16 triples, many of them under the duress of Miami's defense. And now Jimmy Butler calmed down, just had a, a pleasant exchange with Pacers head coach Nate McMillan. Well, not a shooting foul. It was the third team foul on Indiana in the quarter. So. Calm prevails, and the Heat go back to work ahead by 23. And Warren right back on Butler. Oh, Jimmy. Put a shoulder into the chest of Warren, and then Warren just got himself tossed out of the game for taunting. Well, neither player showing much in the way of poise right there. Oh, my. Well, what's going to happen? I don't know if you saw that on TV or not, but T.J. Warren, that is a no-no, my friend. And that's why Warren's going to be tossed right now. This is his second technical foul. This is why it's so important that they call those first technical fouls. They have no toleration at all. And T.J. Warren, who's the leading scorer for the... Well, good job of taking it away from Harden. He didn't look too interested. Well, there's been a lot of contact on James. And the officials have not been blowing the whistle on the contact. They've been letting them play. And so when you let obvious fouls go, players get frustrated. And we're seeing some frustration here early in the game. And there's Murray with the layup. James trying to take the ball out of bounds. And he bumps into Murray. And Murray bumps back. Push, push. We'll see what becomes of this. But I, think, I think James is sending the message to the officials. Hey, look, if you're going to let us play, then it's going to be a physical game. Double, helping Simmons with Towns. Here's Horford, blocked on the play. Wow, and look Whoa. at this. Whoa, and B going at it. 
with Carl Anthony Towns. And the bench is empty. My goodness. What is going on? Ben's got him by the neck. Towns is hot. And Bead is up. He's in front of his bench. And I'm, I don't know what precipitated this, but you have to think both players are going to be sent off for the rest of the game. It was Simmons on the last play with the Sixers on defense. See him right there. What is going yeah. on? And then Embiid came in and double team, and those two remain in the backcourt. This is what ensued. They're trying to pick up. Joel and Ben goes right after Cat. <laughs> Joel having some words with Mike Scott. Wow. That's with JoJo if you want to. Another look at what just transpired. There's that double I was talking about. Now the two getting tangled. And the shoving turned into this. That, my friends, are a couple of heavyweights. And Embiid seems delighted by the whole thing. Take a look at it from the other end of the floor. You see the tangle up right there. No big deal. And he's trying to break free. That seemed like two guys antagonizing each other. Yeah, I mean, listen, it seems like, wow, there are bodies strewn all over the floor. Ben's got a, a grasp of his neck, as you can see right there. And by the way, let me be clear. Coaches, meaning the head coaches and assistants, they come on the floor as peacemakers. There sure. are security personnel. So if you're seeing a lot of guys in suits, that's who those people are primarily. Well, and, of Ryan's course, one of the officials we will be checking out to make sure that no other players came off the bench because that is a no-no. Well, that's you, what you're saying is, is is right on, Mark, in that they're the guys in suits that are allowed to be out on the floor. Correct. Everyone else has Correct. no business being out on the floor. So Coaches can, and assistants are allowed as yep, peacemakers. Yep. And there's security guards in the mix as well. Harris against Portis. Oh, Got it done. God. And a uh -oh. foul as Embiid uh -oh. hit the deck. Joel, stay away. And we don't need another two-game suspension. And Morris is just one of those guys who... Well, he's Philly. He doesn't take any jump. A lot of Wolf tickets being sold Talk to out him, there. Ben. Talk to him. Stop chirping. Play basketball. So no wrestling, nothing other than, and the officials will look at it anyway just to see if there's something they didn't see the first time around. Jojo got him with that right shoulder, and now Morris is trying to get him back, and he kind of just, mind you, these are two former Jayhawks. Both, 